Ramadan Mubarak. I'm John Paul, the Peter Paul and Elizabeth Hagen Professor of the History of Christianity at United Lutheran Seminary in Philadelphia and Gettysburg. I'm also Minister of Faith Formation and Community Engagement at Union Congregational United Church of Christ in Green Bay, Wisconsin. And finally, by way of introduction, I'm the author of Fatullah Gulen, uh, A Life of His Met, Why a Muslim Scholar in Pennsylvania Matters to the World. But I'm with you today, just briefly, um, to communicate a Ramadan greeting, a Ramadan blessing uh, to you. It's not a commercial for the book, although I will be reading a section from it. But as I've learned uh, through my research in Mr. Gulen's life and on the Global Hizmet Movement, uh, Ramadan is an intense, exciting, and spiritually profound month of observation. Um, and I realize this is a Ramadan unlike any other. And yet, after seasons of plague, after seasons of fasting, extraordinary innovation can develop. And I hope and pray that through the discipline of Ramadan, and despite the absence of the joyous iftar um, dinners that can unite and build bridges across communities. I hope that out of this season of fasting and isolation, true innovation, God's innovation, God's new way can become clearer to us, God's new way of peace. I'm going to conclude by reading just a brief um, passage um, from the book. It's page 121, and it's Mr. Gulen's, one of his many reflections on Ramadan. He writes, The month of Ramadan appears on our horizons with its charming beauties with fasting. The prayers of tar Tarawi, the fast-breaking dinners, and the pre-dawn meals. Ramadan brings about a heavenly atmosphere of its own. Even at times when different tensions follow one another, violence and aggression become excessive, contradiction is seen as virtue, and ice-cold winds blow between the masses. Ramadan makes its influence by reconditioning souls, fostering sound hearts, feelings, and thoughts, along with abating every kind of hardness and harshness. Muslims thus show serious respect toward this month when peace and gentleness perceptibly prevail. For this reason, in spite of different adversities, if we give our willpower its due and manage to open our heart to this very special and distinguished segment of time with heartfelt trust in its blessings and thus become oriented to it with sincere belief, awe, and respect, then it will cuddle us and shower us with blessings. Anger, violence, and rages will cease, and an atmosphere of peace and reconciliation will prevail." End quote. I love that. Ramadan will cuddle us. May that be so in your practice of Ramadan. Um, greetings. Ramadan Mubarak, once again from Wisconsin.